right, and welcome back to the second section of the night. Uh, Vincent Ingham uh, gets to graduate and go on to kickboxing and hang on there with us while Greg Fraser gets a cigarette break. And in comes Nathan Dill, the expert on kickboxing. Uh, good evening, Nathan. Good evening, Mike. It's a pleasure to be back working alongside you guys again. It's an exciting night that we're undertaking tonight. The boxing has been exciting, and now we're about to turn it up one more notch for the kickboxing before we get to the main event. When is the old man going to get a break? You guys can take over, you know. <laughs> someday, Mike, someday. All right. We've got Khalid Fitcher with one win and five losses, and Corey Boyce, who's uh, stepping into the action for the first time. Oscar Lightborn is the man in the middle. And there's the bell, the first of uh, three two-minute rounds, Vince. On kickboxing, so you're allowed to punch, you're allowed to kick, and uh, let's see how this fight, oh wow, as you see uh, Mr. Boyce out of the fire pants taking a wild roundhouse kick there, just missing, uh, Mr. Pitcher missing out of that. As, as you can kind of see, Corey Boyce is wow. His physique is a well-suited physique to fight in. This guy looks like a bodybuilder who's just transitioned into K-1 fighting and kickboxing. I've trained alongside him. Um, he's come up to Rigo's gym um, to do some training and preparation for this. And he is physically a specimen, Mike. A mm -hmm. little bit of background on Corey, boys. Uh, Corey is new to K-1 kickboxing. He's a natural-born athlete, a footballer with the North Village Rams. He's been training in the art of Muay Thai at the Bermuda Karate Institute for about six months. And this is his first fight night, as Nathan has said. And uh, interesting enough, without giving my age, uh, his father was also an outstanding, uh, uh, let's say, sportsman back in the day. So we're expecting some good things from Corey, but he's going to have his hands full with Khalid Pitcher. Definitely going to have his hands full. Again, we've seen Khalid numerous times over the years. You can um, go back to Barkley. You can even go before that to number one shed. Khalid is not new to fighting at all. He's been fighting for a number of years. He's fought both locally and international. Unfortunately, his record isn't too good, as you say it, Mike. It's 1-5, but this guy is still not a novice fighter. Boyce just went with the... Oh, with I, bad intention. A devastating knee attempt, and now a takedown. Boyce has is, is got to be feeling himself right now. He's very cocky right now. Let's see if he can maintain that for the rest of the round, Vincent. Yeah, Boyce is walking with a swagger like there's really nothing that could touch him. He, he thinks, by, by his actions, it looks like he knows he could dominate this fight. Um, it would really take something of maybe a mistake or a little miscommunication, I see, for Pitcher to get in. But... Uh, Let's see where the fight takes us. That first round, I think, went to Boyce, though. I, I would, I would uh, give that one to Boyce as well. But again, Khalid's not a novice fighter, and Boyce is relying right now on his physical superiority. But again, we, as, as we're seeing, technique wins fights. Let's see if Khalid can pull it out. He's very strong. He doesn't look like a big, muscular man, but he's good balance. He has awesome balance. And he exudes that in the ring because Khalid looks like he's the bigger of the two. But when it comes to dominance and uh, physicality, clearly Boyce uh, displayed that he has the upper hand in the first round. Just a little bit of information you guys may not know. Khalid Pitcher is actually dedicating this fight to a good friend of his who passed earlier this year. Um, a guy named Nate Von Joen, so I just wanted to get that in. Yeah. Um, so Khalid's fighting for a higher purpose, and he's out there um, not just rep representing himself, but he's actually dedicating his fights to his late gone friend. So just want to let you guys know that. So uh, Pitcher's actually fighting uh, with a load on his shoulders. Um, Sounds yeah. good. So Sounds I do good. appreciate that. Let's see what the second round brings. Looking a bit more saddled right now. Voices coming out, firing after the initial exchange. Now, Nathan, you can quickly, very briefly describe to our viewers, is there a certain, oh, now, nice move by pitcher there. Oh, good contact. Is there a certain amount of kicks that is uh, required, mandatory? Look at the action here. Oh, boys is on the pro. Oh. It's all boys right now. Both of each other giving each other the nods. It's a bit of camaraderie. They're not enemies. These guys know each other. They've trained together before. 
um, and they've encountered each other before in the sparring circles. To answer your question, Mike, we're fighting on the 10-point mass system, similar to boxing. Um, the things the judges do consider is a full kick to the head. They consider a takedown, uh, but a takedown is worth no points. It's uh, usually three points to the head. Three points, as we're seeing just now, for a takedown, leaving the attacker left standing. But basically, it goes by the 10-point mass system, whereas the aggressor, the person that's showing the dominance, the person that's controlling the pace and the turn of the fight, will get the 10-point, and the other uh, fighter will get the lesser point. Okay, so there's no mandatory 20 kicks per round. It's no mandatory. If I wanted to go in there and throw all kicks, Ah, watch out for the elbow. We saw Kalia throw an elbow mistakenly for that spinning back fist just now. Uh, uh, referee Lightborn didn't catch it, but uh, that's something that would not be allowed at all in K-1 fighting, an elbow. Some exchanges going on right here. Sweat pouring off the fighters as they hit each other. Kicks, punches, Khalid and... Corey really leaving it all, going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and they're giving us a great, great exhibition so far. we got to thank them for that. Channel 82, Fairmount Southampton Princess, beautiful Southampton Bermuda, this wonderful crowd of 1,300 and swelling, really enjoying this event today. Prone to believe that Boyce is in the driver's seat, and Khalid Fitcher is going to have to come up with something special in this third and final round if he wants to pull this one out. And you see who's in his corner also, the animal. <laughs> yeah, if, if we can recall to past fight nights, we saw Jamal uh, just participate against uh, Martello Jones up at Barclay Institute. Yep. Uh, that was a fierce fight, if you remember, Mike. Yes, that yes. was definitely a fierce fight. I wanted to see him, him in action tonight. That would have been great. It would have capped off the night, but unfortunately not. Let's see what these guys have for the third round. Um, I'm sure Santuali is going to live up to expectations. Here we go, uh, Vince. Third round action. Let's have it as uh, they touch gloves coming in. Let's see if they... Uh, Action just pauses for a moment, I believe. Uh, Kyler uh, has to get some mouth gear back in place. Uh, uh, a slip on his corner for him to go in without his totally, mouth guard. Totally, that's totally, definitely a totally, slip for his totally. corner. Good it referee. doesn't look good. And it's it's definitely good refereeing on the part of Oscar Lightborn to catch it. Boyce catching him on the seat of his pants. Around the house. Punch attempted by Pitcher there. Pitcher follows it up with two standing kicks. Pitcher just going to ground there, losing his, uh, losing losing his, his footing. balance a little oh, bit. Oh, he's getting a count here. It's a standing eight count right now. Um, I don't think it's really justified, but yeah. uh, Pitcher is a little bit fatigued right now. Boy's showing to be the aggressor right now. So if we were to score it right now, we would definitely give it to Boyce right now. Well, it's, I tell you what, Nathan, I've seen some fights where I thought I knew what was going to be the score of the judges. So... <laughs> I'll leave that one to the, the, the final call. What do you think about that running leap in there, Nathan? It, it, it's, a, it's, it's a dangerous, dangerous technique. Scary. It's a dangerous technique. If it works, it, it, it can be to, to oh. your benefit. But if, the, if your opponent can identify and see it coming. It's going to be to your detriment. Definitely, that's why I call it a dangerous technique, because it could either help you or hurt you. We're in the third and final round of the first of three kickboxing events. Remember, we have yet to come. The MTAC Intercontinental Middleweight Championship. But right now, it's Boyce and Pitcher going at each other here. Exciting at the, fight. At the Fairmount Southampton Princess. And you're watching all of the action on BSN Channel 82. Referee Lightborn starts to fight again. Both punches are still in it. You don't see any lack of pace on them. Even though this is the third and final round, they have not slowed down. Maybe the intensity Khalid. is, oh, is, is diminished a little bit. Khalid with a nice little combo there. Followed a kick with a spinning punch there. That'll that do it. it. Uh, let's have a big round of applause for our first two bucks. All right. So Nathan, uh, we give the edge to Boyce. I will give it to Boyce. I will give it to Boyce on split point decision. I don't think he dominated. I think Khalid held his own against this, but Boyce definitely split point. All right, rookie. Well, I don't know about the point system, but just going off what I saw, how I felt the match went, 
I got to give it hands down to Boyce, Khalid Pitcher. He did show a lot of resiliency. He did show a lot of the good characteristics you want to see in a fighter. But somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. You're looking at the man in the fire shorts for the winner there tonight. Thank you, Boyce. Thank you, Khalid. Turn it back to you, Mike. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I, uh, I definitely have to say, if this is his first fight, Nathan, oh, we're in for a treat in years to come. If he can stick to it, because he is definitely a powerhouse. And uh, I just think he needs to work out a few kinks because it's ever so dangerous for him to be leaping in like that, not yeah. feet first. Yeah. He's opening himself up. But nevertheless, he's got a strategy. He just needs to perfect it. And uh, I, I also agree with my uh, co-commentators that uh, Boyce gets the nod tonight. Uh, but Khalid Pitcher put up a gallant effort. And as you heard Vince say, dedicated to Nate Von Jonan, a good friend of his who, who passed earlier this year. So we want to get a shout out to Khalid for having the courage and the strength to come out here and put on the display for him and for his friend. That's really admirable. I'm always touched when I hear uh, fighters dedicating a performance to someone who's passed. I think it's an outstanding move, uh, a touching move. And for Khalid to do that, even though he might come up on the losing end, I think that's a, a, a great move, yeah. It really, really shares his character, you know? It really shares character. And um, I tell you what, I wish there was more people that had character like Khalid out there. Well, he uh, has one win and five losses. I think he's about to go to one and six. Uh, but we'll leave that officially up to the to judges. Their judges. Of course, the commentators here, we can always put in our little tidbit, but the final word comes from the judges here. And I also thought that Oscar Lightborn did a splendid job there, especially identifying with the uh, pitcher coming out without a mouth mouthpiece. Oscar Lightborn is a great rap. We've seen him do numerous international and local refereeing and then the judges that we have right now master wharton david simons um christina ingham and zenji ingham these aren't novice referees here uh, i'm sorry these aren't novice judges here these are very experienced fighters let's get the fight let's go to the ring announcer